Thursday, two days to go. We are on our way uh, to the conference. I always say the press conference. I always say conference meeting, but it's not. It's a press conference. Uh, I did this two years ago. Quite nerve-wracking because I'm not naturally a confident person. So to stand on stage talking and chatting, and saying all these positive things about how you're going to have to win the Olympia, you know, it's, it's quite nerve-wracking. But honoured to be a part of it because it's only the top five of each class who gets invited to do this. So uh, yeah, let's go and get it done. Water in hand starting to feed up now quite a lot as well so feel a bit bloated all shades that's part and parcel of it it's all week week It's an honor to be here as the honorary bachelor for this year's contest. Today's busy contender, Ryan Perry. Folks, we got Ryan Perry, Raymond Edmonds, and Brandon Hendricks in the cream of the crop of the men's physique division. All right, Ryan Perry. Hello. Time to shine, buddy. Am I going to follow that? You got to follow Cedric. I know it's not easy to do, but uh, but I give you that task, my friend. But all right, you guys have been fighting it out for the last few years uh, together, pretty much in all these shows, especially the Olympia. Uh, Ryan, first of all, congratulations on getting back. Thank uh, you. The, the pride of the UK. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's my uh, my fifth time here at the Olympia, so. Yeah, thank you. I feel very honored to be here. You had a, a your good share of fans last year thinking that you could have been in the winner's circle very easily. A very hard fought battle. You guys always bring it. You guys are always in condition, always in shape. Uh, but you can see the intensity is huge up on stage. When you guys turn around, now I'm on stage with you. So I'm the only one that gets to see. When you guys actually turn around, Big Steve says, face the curtain, gentlemen. That's when the real show starts. Because the amount of garbage that's talked and spewed was you guys when you guys are turned around is epic <laughs> yeah we like to talk a bit we must have uh, try and uh, rally each other throw each other off our game well who's the biggest scrap talker out there is it brandon Ooh, i don't know andre ferguson's got a mouth yeah andre's, <laughs> andre's up there if andre's out there um yeah that's a tough one there Brandon, what are you saying, man? What, what happens when you guys turn around? What, what's, what's all that fireworks all about? Up there? You guys are beating some business. I don't know about all that, man. I'm just here to win the show. You didn't even hear all that stuff he was talking about, too, huh? <laughs> I, I'm, I, I silence all that. I'm just here for one job. I have one job to do. All right, Raymond. You guys get the big spotlight right here in the Joe Weider stage this year. What do you think about that? This is amazing. I mean, just look at it. <laughs> this is great. It's a blessing. Um, yeah, this is what it's about. Prime time. It is prime time, my friend. It's also prime time to make some changes to the physique, to make some improvements. You got to show those judges what it's all about and what you got. Uh, all of you guys are obviously are very, very close when it comes to the points. Everybody sees the final point tally in the men's physique division. You can see it's literally a point or two amongst that top five. What changes have you made this year that could possibly get you in the winner's circle? Um, we're going to show them Saturday. <laughs> All right. Can you hear all the garbage that Ryan talks about you when you turn around? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wrong guy. Uh, that's definitely not me. Uh, Ryan's, Ryan's too nice. He knows I'm kidding him. Sure, uh, Sean. It's weird because I thought, because he didn't ask a proper question, I thought he was at least going to let me speak after. And then he just moved on. I thought, oh, I'm doing it again. <laughs> I know. Well, I thought I was going to get my back and I was going to start thanking everyone. So you're not allowed in here, but this is the athletes check-in. So basically this is the official registration for the Olympics. So normally we get our jackets here, badges, our official numbers. We learn the rules, the procedures of what's going to happen on the day. So it's really important. If you miss this, you'd get banned um, from the Olympia. So it's, it's quite important. So I better get on and see what happens. This is it, this is, um, obviously I'll start tanning tonight, so this is just more relaxation, massage, I'm trying to get myself right headspace, making sure I can get my lat spread.
so we're officially carving up now. We started yesterday quite hard carving, but today we're really switching it up. So I've never carved up like this, obviously with Neil being very different to previous preps. So we've got almond butter, which is just slowing the digestion down, but we've got banana and rice cakes, which is awesome in a whey protein shape. Because normally it's just white rice and white potato and very dry chicken. So I'm, I'm not complaining. Baby boy's coming back out, baby face. You always uh, shave for stage. Yeah, so it's like an unwritten rule uh, for some reason. It doesn't say anywhere we can't have it, um, like facial hair and stuff, but everyone just seems to get rid of it. So I'm not going to be the one to try and change that and chance anything. So uh, yeah, it's going. <laughs> I actually prefer it to be honest, but Amy, my wife, likes me with the stubble all over the beard, so gotta do as I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look like my dad is, when I take this off. So, Chris, uh, how are you feeling about the classic uh, this weekend? <laughs> Amy, what do you think? Oh my god, you need to take a picture and send that. You need to tag that. You look like Chris Bumstead. It's his porno tag. Come here. Voila, there we have it. <laughs> it's about 10 years you lost. <laughs> right, showtime. This is going to be my first coat um, of the 2019 Mr. Olympia. I normally have three coats uh, from my sponsors, ProTan, <laughs> um, and we normally leave it about eight hour window in between. So Friday morning, Friday afternoon, and then Saturday morning. So I'm going to get on in there and get to it. see it's taken quite well gone dark already we've got another two coats of this so we're going to be back late this afternoon for the second coat so we're back here backstage at the olympia uh, as you can see the first coat as well and truly taken it was about eight hours ago this morning so we're going into the second coat of tan now uh, and this is where i come out different race <laughs> <laughs> Check this out. Now this is every athlete's dream. So this is the Mr. Olympia stage, the main stage. This year, fingers crossed, I'll be standing on this stage tomorrow evening. Um, it's the top six, so it's the finalists who get to come and do their um, routine of an evening here tomorrow night. So all I need to do is get through pre-judging in the morning, God willing, and I get that uh, top six place. In the Olympia title, like, 
anyone knows you, anyone who knows me, it is the ultimate, ultimate thing for me. It's Friday the 13th. This is it. The comeback. The hard work, the workouts, the nutrition is all behind me now and the stage awaits. It's hard to believe that we actually made it to the Olympia following the injury, surgery, full house renovation and wedding. Once I committed though, there was no turning back. There's no giving up now. Games physique contender, Ryan Perry! Yes, I've stepped on the Olympia stage, there's, there's no feeling like it. It's absolutely As a competitor at any level, that is the ultimate stage to, uh, to be on. Olympia is my um, is my final hurdle, and, and it means the world to me. Morning, guys. You all right? How are you doing? All right. Show day. We're ready. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah. Take care. Thank you. Yeah. So in 2017, we tried to do a similar thing, but. Um, I tried to fill up earlier um, and I kind of spilled over. So we did it on purpose. We sacrificed a bit of conditioning to try and be bigger. Um, so I thought it wasn't going to show as much on stage, so I thought I might get away with it. So um, I was holding water because I'd overcarved and not dried out as, as well as I should have done. So my tan was starting to get patchy a bit and, and I was slightly watery, I had a slight film over me. So, this year we've gone for the same thing, but we've not spilled over and we've dried out sooner. So hopefully, obviously when we step on stage, we'll have that big 3D full effect, we'll tight around the waist and then dry, which is what we're looking for. Um, and the thing is this year, I've, I've had to try something different. Like say, every year I come in with condition and the smaller guy on stage, and yes, it's top three or top four, it's, it's okay, but it's never going to win the Olympia yeah. and at the end of the day that's what I'm there for. So I need to try something different to, to get that first spot and I'll never know. If I don't do it, I'll never know. So uh, yeah, I'm out of my comfort zone massively, um, but we're ready for it. Excited. Um, I'm just hoping everything goes to plan for the next few hours. Um, I'm happy enough. Um, with where we're at now, I'm just scared to eat anything because I want to keep my stomach as tight as possible. But, um, but yeah, other than that, I'm excited to get back on stage. Um, and let's battle it out and try and get that top six and then that win. I'm just going to keep them in classes a meal, but it's very small. Um, I'm full now, so it's just trying to stop me from flattening off and just keeping top top. So only a little bit of protein and uh, rice. As long as the boss is happy. Guys, seriously, I don't think you're going to be ready for this today because he looks absolutely incredibly on the money today. <laughs> he's hard as hell, he is dry, and he is full, he's separated. He looks in, it takes a lot for me to get shocked by people because obviously I see so many great physiques in the, in the industry, but he looks unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Ooh. Fingers crossed. It's too shy. Yeah. Just got my final blaze on. 
Thank you.
from the fans. Are you ready? Please welcome from the United Kingdom, Ryan Terry. The 
fifth place award, the check for $2,000. And presented to Ryan Terry. Remember what so I said? What it was it. I said it to him. It was yeah, easy, yeah, yeah. wasn't it? I said to him, oh, yeah, I need fifth place because then the. Uh, yeah, fuck's going to say that. Thank you. Appreciate your support as always. Absolute class team. Team Terry. So, that's finals done. What an amazing night. Absolutely class being on that stage. Something I'll never ever forget, amazing. Can't wait for next year now. But first things first, we come to Cheesecake Factory, which is a tradition of mine. So after every pro show I've ever done, I've always come here for my cheat meal. Uh, we've been here probably 20 odd times, and I've only ever had the exact same meal off the menu, which is the Smokehouse Burger, Sweet Potato Fries, and Oreo Milkshake for dessert. And it's honestly unbelievable. <laughs> It's not a bad one that. White chocolate and macadamia I think is it? White chocolate, caramel, macadamia. Mm. Normally I have the uh, Oreo or the Reese's one. Amy. But I let Amy choose this one. It was nice, very nice. This is my favourite one. Good shout. And we're going to a sugar coma soon. 